Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? Thanks, but I'd rather walk.
We are arriving in my mother's village. Bed rice. There are wild beasts around us. We must be careful. The Red Spears know how to defend themselves, but be careful on the way there. Desarde, I have a favor to ask. Very well. I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him. A donation to the sea. My family also gave me to the Nords. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Nords and the Merchant Princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need to know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Of course, but you will have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any noughts to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the noughts are still my family. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. Spears of all past warriors at all on all of them. By the tree and bring strength. Who do you think you are? By what right do you enter the home of our queen? I'm the emissary of the Congregation of Merchants. I've come to meet your leader. Come now, Arwand. You are not a watchdog. Where is my mother? Siora. 
I didn't see you. You have come too late. Your mother has gone to wage a war. They left for Didekid Nadagais only a few hours ago. Oh no. We need to catch up with them and avoid the shedding of blood. Please, haste. Very well then. Let's be off. We must follow the path leading toward the heights into the forest. Wait. We should go left here. It's a more difficult path, but it's much shorter. Look at the tracks. They chose to take the path on the right, it would seem. Before a battle, it makes sense that they wanted to avoid a path with more danger. If it is dangerous, let's not risk braving it when time is against us. We risk meeting a great many beasts. But if we follow the warriors, we risk catching up with them too late to sway them. I fear my mother may have already thrown herself into the battle.
I hope you are ready to be humiliated. Oh, no, the battle. I'll make you regret confronting us. I'll make you regret confronting us. And let's go. Be careful. I hope you're you wounded. Are ready to be <laughs> <laughs> You are too late, Ciara. Mother has fallen, and we are defeated. No, no, no. This is not fair. I am so sorry. Who is this man? He resembles one of us, but is dressed like a Renaigze. I am the ambassador of the Congregation of Merchants. I, I'm sorry for your loss. The Congregation? And what side are you on in this war? Those that massacre our people. Essel, calm down. You know that Mother sent me to seek out allies. You show up when the fight was nearly over. Was this part of your plan? You know that these monsters are taking our own. They must make honorable amends. The congregation is neutral. We hope to stop this battle. Stop this battle? You are mad or a dreamer. This battle was destined. Our folk disappear one soul after the other since you arrived. We are not going to let this happen. You've already lost one battle and haven't had enough. You want to wage another? That's what I thought. You are like them. You think your life more precious. From which wood you are carved? Esseld. Have you calmed down yet? You defeated me, but that changes nothing. These monsters massacred my mother and my people. I will not allow this crime to go unpunished. Esseld, rather than fighting amongst ourselves, we should be tending to the wounded. You speak truly. I am too weak to fight. Or to help you. I shall return to the village. Kwawel and Seg, little sister. We must also find my mother. Her body, if... If she has passed on to death. Look at all this horror. How do you hope... Look for her banner. She carries the mark of our clan.
Oh, these ruins are very strange. By what name did you call this place again? A great victory for our clans. Hmm, strange indeed. These walls are completely foreign to the styles of your own dwellings. Does this name that you gave the ruins mean anything in particular? Yes, it means ruins of the first guardian. I would like to dig around a little on the site. We might be able to unearth clues as to who actually built them. Take care of you. Beg of you, help me. I still you dare to breathe. How can you hope that I am here to save you? No, I. What have you done with my mother? Pity, I, I, I beg of you. I, I don't want to die. Then answer! Siora. Stop! Look at yourself! You're acting like a beast! A beast has far more majesty than these monsters who have traded their souls. The, they have taken her. The Queen. They took her. Then she must still be alive. They would not have bothered to carry away a corpse. She would have chosen death before capture. They must have wanted her alive. We must find her. If your mother is in the hands of Bridge, they'd have taken her to the closest camp. Promise me that we will do everything we can to bring her back.
are still bleeding. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more. I do not think that we will find any more of them. We killed them all, thanks to you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet.
are some images. Let's get closer. This is the first time I've seen these drawings so closely. You've never come here. You certainly seem to know the place. This site is sacred and taboo. Everyone knows where it is, but no one ever comes here. All these colors are so beautiful. I never would have imagined that they could create something so delicate. Who are you talking about? Of those who built these lodgings. ...that my ancestors vanquished in a past war. You know who they were? I only know the legend. The legend of Dida Kid and Nadaigis. I'm listening. It is said our people lived peacefully... ...until the men appeared from the sea... ...intent on making our lands their own. They dug great caverns into the earth... ...ripped down our forests... ...destroying everything in their wake. They were evil. The warriors killed so many people that even their own people came to fear them. Here, they built a terrible city that spewed out clouds of cinder and death. Our kings and queens were desperate. They went to the heart of our island, and the island heard them. From the woods appeared the first guardian. He was taller than a city, and with each step it smashed a lodging. It was a guardian of Rat, and the city could not resist him. Since then, the Earth answers our call for magic, and in exchange, we become all Manawi, in keeping with the pacts our kings and queens once made. Oh, it is a very sad and terrible legend. I wonder who these people from the sea could have been. Oh, people from the continent, no doubt. Our Malachor might well be the cursed result of that war from another age. We have nothing more, nor anyone else to find here. I must report all we've learned to Constantine. On all Manawi, my mother is still held in this outpost near Vagigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the Lion's Claws. But you are already busy. We'll talk about it again once you have more time. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later.
Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search. It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get some sleeping pills. Then we'll go see Dita. Cousin, you have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. Any news of your parents? No. My father's next... As for my... She's probably too... We were not able... Alas, to stop the clash between the forces of the Alliance and Siora's clan, we arrived at the village and the battlefield too late. The Queen fell. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, Princess. Thank you. My sister survived, fortunately, and we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange. We discovered a fresco that I'm certain was crafted by continental hands. Really? And how ancient are these ruins? Could they date back to the first landings of the Bridge Alliance? They date much farther back than their arrival would explain. My mother and my grandmother have always known them. Siora told me of a legend that spoke of them, about a people from the sea that were vanquished there. Do you think it was the Norths? It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. <laughs> 